The Nexus Chronicles, Guardians of the Multiverse. In the year 3078, humanity had spread across the Milky Way, thriving on distant planets and moons. Scientists continuously sought new discoveries to propel civilization forward. The Nexus shimmered like a mirage, fluctuating between visible and invisible states. Its energy readings were off the charts, hinting at its extraordinary power and potential. On the remote planet Zellara, a group of scientists led by Dr. Elara Mason discovered an anomaly. They named it the Nexus, a mysterious gateway that defied all known laws of physics. Dr. Mason and her team were determined to understand the Nexus. They set up a research base around it, using advanced technology to analyze its properties and unlock its secrets. However, not everyone in the galaxy was benevolent. News of the Nexus reached the ears of the Drakari, a formidable extraterrestrial race with a thirst for conquest and domination. Dr. Mason and her team remained unaware of the impending danger. They continued their research, fascinated by the endless mysteries each new dimension presented. As they studied the Nexus, the team discovered it was more than just a gateway, it was a portal to other dimensions and realms of existence. Each realm had its own unique characteristics. Excited, the scientists sent a small probe through the Nexus. It vanished instantly, but returned moments later with data that defied comprehension, confirming the existence of parallel worlds. The probe's data revealed strange landscapes, alien creatures, and unfamiliar civilizations. The team was astounded by the possibilities the Nexus presented for exploration and knowledge. The Drakari saw the Nexus as a means to expand their empire and harness its power for their sinister purposes. They began formulating a plan to seize control of the gateway. Secretly, Dr. Mason activated a distress beacon, sending a signal to nearby allied colonies. She hoped reinforcements would arrive in time to thwart the Drakari's plans. One day, as the team monitored the Nexus, they noticed an unusual fluctuation. The gateway's energy levels spiked, and an eerie silence fell over the base. Under the guise of compliance, Dr. Mason and her team prepared for their journey. They waited for the right moment, hoping to outwit their captors. Suddenly, a rift opened, and a group of Drakari soldiers emerged. Armed and menacing, they surrounded the scientists, demanding immediate control of the Nexus. Dr. Mason refused to yield, understanding the catastrophic consequences of the Nexus falling into the wrong hands. The team was quickly subdued, but their resolve remained unbroken. The Drakari leader, General Vargoth, threatened to destroy the base unless the scientists cooperated. Dr. Mason knew she had to find a way to protect the Nexus at all costs. One night, while the Drakari soldiers were distracted, the scientists made their move. They activated the Nexus, and in a flash of light, stepped through to an unknown dimension. Elder Thallus revealed that the Erothians were ancient guardians of the multiversal balance. They had knowledge and technology that could aid the scientists in their quest. While under guard, the team used their knowledge of the Nexus to devise a plan. They decided to travel through the gateway to another dimension, seeking allies to help them fight back. On the other side, they found themselves in a world filled with lush forests and towering mountains. The air was crisp, and strange, colorful creatures watched them curiously. Equipped with advanced weapons and newfound knowledge, the team and their allies stepped through the Nexus once more, emerging on Zellara in a blaze of light. The team quickly established contact with the local inhabitants, a peaceful race called the Erothians. They explained their predicament and sought the Erothians' assistance. The Arathian leader, Elder Thallus, listened intently. He understood the gravity of the situation and agreed to help. His people had their own reasons to protect the multiverse. With the Arathian's help, Dr. Mason and her team learned to harness the Nexus's power more effectively. They trained to navigate between dimensions with precision and purpose. Meanwhile, General Vargoth grew impatient. He increased his efforts to control the Nexus, unaware of the growing alliance forming on the other side of the gateway. The scientists and their Arathian allies devised a plan to reclaim their base and secure the Nexus. 
they prepared for a perilous journey back to Zalara, ready for battle. The Drakari soldiers were caught off guard. The battle was intense, with energy beams and alien weaponry lighting up the sky. Dr. Mason fought valiantly alongside her team. General Vargoth, realizing the tide was turning, attempted to escape through the Nexus. Dr. Mason pursued him, determined to prevent him from wreaking havoc in other dimensions. As they entered the Nexus, the gateway fluctuated wildly. They found themselves in a chaotic, shifting realm where the laws of physics were in constant flux. Vargoth and Mason faced off in this unpredictable dimension. The environment itself became their battleground, with gravity and time warping around them. Using her knowledge of the Nexus, Dr. Mason manipulated the realm's instability to her advantage. She outmaneuvered Vargoth, finally capturing him with a dimensional snare. With Vargoth subdued, Dr. Mason transported him back to Zelara. The remaining Drakari forces, leaderless and demoralized, quickly surrendered to the combined human and Arathian forces. The Nexus was secure once more. Dr. Mason and her team rejoiced, grateful for their allies' help and the knowledge they had gained. The threat had been neutralized, but the work was far from over. Understanding the responsibility that came with the Nexus, the scientists and Arothians formed a council to oversee its protection. They vowed to safeguard the multiverse from any future threats. Dr. Mason continued her research, now with the aid of Arathian wisdom. Together, they explored new dimensions, always mindful of maintaining the balance and integrity of the multiverse. The alliance between humans and Arothians grew stronger. They exchanged knowledge and culture, enriching both civilizations and fostering a deep bond of friendship and cooperation. Stories of their adventures spread across the galaxy, inspiring others to seek knowledge and protect the delicate fabric of reality. The Nexus became a symbol of unity and discovery. As years passed, the Nexus revealed more of its secrets. The Council learned to use it not just for exploration, but for diplomacy and peacekeeping across dimensions. The galaxy thrived under this new era of collaboration. Different worlds and species shared resources and wisdom, ensuring a brighter future for all. Dr. Mason's legacy endured, her contributions celebrated by generations to come. She had not only protected the Nexus but had also expanded humanity's horizons beyond imagination. On quiet nights, Dr. Mason would often visit the Nexus, reflecting on the incredible journey that had begun with a single, shimmering anomaly on a distant planet. She knew that the multiverse was vast and full of wonders yet to be discovered. Each new dimension brought new challenges, but also new opportunities for growth and understanding. The Council continued to monitor the Nexus, ever vigilant against potential threats. They knew that the balance of the multiverse was fragile and must be protected at all costs. The Arothians remained steadfast allies, their ancient wisdom guiding the Council's decisions. Together, they ensured that the Nexus was used responsibly and ethically. Occasionally, new anomalies would appear, hinting at undiscovered realms. The Council approached these with caution, always ready to learn but prepared to defend. Through their efforts, the Nexus became a bridge of peace, connecting different dimensions and fostering a spirit of cooperation and mutual respect. The galaxy flourished, its inhabitants exploring not just the stars, but the very fabric of reality itself. Each discovery brought new insights and possibilities. Dr. Mason's team continued their work, ever curious and ever vigilant. They knew that the Nexus was a gateway to infinite potential, both for good and for ill. With the support of the Council and their allies, they remained committed to protecting the multiverse, ensuring that the Nexus remained a force for positive change. As the years went by, new generations of scientists and explorers joined the cause, inspired by the legends of Dr. Mason and her team. They brought fresh perspectives and ideas, pushing the boundaries of what was possible and expanding humanity's understanding of the multiverse. The Nexus continued to reveal its mysteries, each discovery a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and the quest for knowledge. Dr. Mason, now older and wiser, watched with pride as her life's work bore fruit. 
she knew that the future was in good hands, guided by the principles of cooperation and discovery. Dr. Mason's journey had shown that the true power of the Nexus lay not in its ability to traverse dimensions, but in its capacity to bring people together. The Council remained a beacon of hope, its members dedicated to maintaining the balance and ensuring the Nexus was used for the greater good. Together, they faced the challenges of the multiverse, always striving to protect the fragile threads that connected all existence. The story of the Nexus became a legend, a symbol of what could be achieved through unity and understanding. It inspired countless beings to look beyond their own worlds and seek out the unknown. And so, the Nexus stood as a testament to the boundless potential of the multiverse, a gateway to endless possibilities and a symbol of hope for all. With each new day, the Council and their allies looked to the horizon, ready to explore, protect, and celebrate the wonders of the multiverse, united in their quest for knowledge and peace.